reacting to your assumptions about us. Versatile Horseman said, Horseman something, it keeps on, I, uh, whenever I save it, it cuts off the name. It says, I assume that a lot of people who left such awful comments were never told that to assume is to make a ASS out of you and me. My goodness, people, be nice. <laughs> My goodness. Equine Liza says, I assume that Stella is a secret agent horse working for Storm on their mission to be set free. Do you think that could be true? Storm needs people. He would not survive in the wild one day. Yeah. Storm is not the kind of horse to want to go free. Is Stella the kind of horse to want to go yes. free? It yeah. is. I, I think, are, yeah. They have a mind of their own. I think that you are maybe correct because if anybody is ever going to break out of our farm, it's going to be it's Stella. It's going to be Stella. It's she can't Storm. jump fences. Yeah. Storm or just give up trying. He's too lazy to Yeah. Be. If you, you guys want to even roll in the field. If, yeah. Yeah. If there's something scary in the field, he'd walk away or maybe spook and barely trot away. Okay, so listen to this one. Mary R says, I assume you all give the girls whatever they want and that you all just assume it's Stella's fault while she keeps bolting, even though it's natural instinct. So we don't think it's Stella's fault. We think that we need to help. Um, we think that Stella is... Uh, Stella needs more training and we're going to get her whatever training that she needs and no, I asked Stella to go faster by accident when she bolted with me. Um, I, she spooked with me. I do not give the girls every single thing that they want. I just don't. Like you, we only yeah. vlog the things Dad that does. we buy. Dad does. Dad yeah, does. Okay, Sam might. <laughs> But I'm with the girls more often than he is. He gets and me ice caps. <laughs> I, I just, we don't show the things that I say no to. Maybe we should. Okay, Orange Head Julio says, I assume that you're super rich with all the things you are constantly buying. You guys. We're not super rich. We're not super rich and we're not constantly buying stuff. Here's the, the, here's the thing. When you work for YouTube and you make YouTube videos, Showing what you buy is something that you do. It would be boring if all we did was say, yeah, we had to go and get some stuff at the tax store because blah, 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 and we needed them for the barn. But showing things is our videos that people make. It's, it's a lot of people enjoy those videos and that's why we make them. And it might seem like we're buying stuff all the time, but we're not. Often when we go to the tax store, we went to one tax store the other day and all we bought was a salt lick and some little screw things for our water buckets. Like, and a dressage whip. And, it just... and then breaches. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Not, I paid not... I paid for the dressage whip. And breaches. Now you pay for half part of her breaches. Yes. My breaches really good. I got lucky because I didn't have any money, so I won't pay for money. Yeah, no, I know. I wish I kept me. I wish I kept we're my money. supposed to be proving to them that we I don't wish have I kept much. my money because it's double star coins we get. But those breaches look so good. No, I'm plus I need new showing green. I didn't have to spend so I have two money. pairs. Okay, back Zoe's Goris says, I assume that maybe sometimes Sophie regrets buying Stella, but Laura doesn't. Do no. You? What do you love about Stella? That she's kind, she's sweet, <laughs> she's uh Do you she, want is she fun she's to ride a though? Beautiful beauty. She's awesome. But just wait, is she fun to ride? Yeah. Yeah, so one day get Sophie is gonna wait, be able to ride her. Listen. Again. Oh, Dad just. Haley Vaughn says, "Wow, some of these are pretty rude, but I assume that Sam is an only child. Did she assume right?" No. Sam is the oldest of four siblings. A lot of people commented on how much money we have. I just want to reiterate that when you do YouTube videos, you do show people things and you do buy things more often that you don't need. The girls do collect saddle pads. We let them because they're good for making videos, and I don't know how to explain it other than um. They're, they're, saddle pads are pretty cheap. It's not like, Gabby, how many bridles do you have? One. one. No, 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 no. Two. She has a lot. I have two. One is like an old one that we got for like We bought second trip. hand so we could swim with our horses. Yes, which I forgot. And how one, many halters do we have? How many halters do you have? I don't know. Okay, I think so, Sophie has six and I have Oh my one. gosh, this is going badly. Wait, okay. Let me, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay, listen, listen, listen. 
listen, Roblox. we do let them buy a few things that are inexpensive because it, it, it's it's fun for them and it's fun like we make videos about them. It's because we make videos about them for the most part. If we just had our own horses and we weren't sharing and showing and making videos, we then wouldn't buy uh, we wouldn't stuff. buy that much stuff. And I that that's probably going to come back to haunt me that I said that, but um, yeah, that is the truth. Sophia has eight and I have six. Okay, so stop. Okay, so I Gabby and Dante, eight. listen to this one. Gabby and Dante says, I assume you are of a very well-off life. You never seem short on money and it's basically Christmas for the girls every other week. It's amazing that you can provide for your girls like that, but it, sh it can sure put a bit of jealousy in me. And that actually does make me feel really sad. And that's not why we try to do it. Um, I don't even have any words for that. It does make me feel sad. Does it make you feel sad? Like, yeah. We should do a donation. Buy stuff and then give them to people. Yeah, do a giveaway. We have done giveaway. giveaway. We should do a saddle pad giveaway. Yeah. No should. way. I want that saddle pad. No, we should buy a mini and then give it away to someone. Madeline no. Oswald said, I assume that Laura will get a horse this year. And well, it's so no, I will. Then Stella will be a project horse for mom. Which but mom and I will be riding my horse. So I don't know, Kayla but if, training if that and assumption and comes true, I would not be unhappy. But I, I'm happy with Stella. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's Stella's going to be... Stella my chooses a meal for mom. mom. And Kaylee and I are going to... Jet that. Weinbrenner says, I assume you guys need to work on your riding. And I mean a lot. Rude. <laughs> Is that rude? Yes. Yeah. Rude. But it's a true assumption because we do need to work on our riding. Every single one of us. And every single My one of you. My arms go like this when I ride. Every My single legs go like this. Every single one of you guys forward. need to work on your riding as well because you can never be perfect at riding. There is always something to work on. I just so. say rude. I bet you he doesn't even ride. <laughs> My words if for he that. Does, he's a dead beginner. My words for that is rude. This is a really good one. Peggy SSO says, I assume it's difficult to live your life while vlogging and then edit all those videos. I also assume you have to be careful about keeping some things private. Love your family so much. So, yes, the private things, yes. Is it difficult to live our life while vlog vlogging? Do you find vlogging difficult? No. Do you find vlogging difficult? No. no. And in some uh, ways, I just find... to get a camera and vlog. Sometimes I find that vlogging really helps us to get out there and get doing stuff. It also makes yeah, you buy you more stuff, Yeah, you have to do things though. for the video. Yeah, you have to do stuff. And then stuff. you buy a lot of things yeah. that you don't even need. Yeah, that, that happens Just for the us. video. And then you go out and make friends and the friends are on Okay, but just wait. Listen, so also we have to be careful about keeping some things private. And we are learning this more and more and more because sometimes I say one little thing that I don't think means anything and then people will twist it and turn it into something completely different. And I learn like, yeah, you got, I got to keep just, some things private. Just posting a picture of... Stella's nose and everyone finds her. Yeah. Well, it's because no There's, other horse has that nose marking. There so, is so much behind the scenes things that happens with subscribers that either. you guys would not even believe. I could write a book. I should make a video about the things that have happened to us in the past. I'm talking oh, stalkers. God. I'm talking like crazy, crazy things that have happened to us in the past. Um. Selena M said, I assume that you'd like to tell off the keyboard warriors on a regular basis, especially Sam, but you're too kind, too intelligent and kind hearted to stoop to their level. All the best in the new year, guys. All right, so. Okay, sometimes she does get really yeah, mad at them. Like sometimes I do tell them off and then I delete it because I feel so horrible because I don't, they're rude. I don't give a crap. <laughs> okay, so yeah, like. Got my cat. Some people assume that I hate anybody telling us what to do, and I don't. I love your guys' comments so much. I love reading everything that you guys do because there are some things that I can take from that and incorporate it in our life, and some of it I store in the back of my mind until that situation comes up, and then I'm like, hey, I know what to do here. But the comments that are really but hard. But then she thinks she knows what our instructor said, and then I'm like, no, she listen, really said this. Listen. But then... The comments of people trying to tell us that we're doing everything wrong because we're not doing it that their way. 
those comments are really hard. People who are telling us, you need to do this, that is not sharing, that is not giving us constructive criticism, that is not giving us advice, that's just being mean and controlling and saying that our way is wrong because it's not your way. And those kind of comments are really hard. There are people on our channel that literally make comments specifically to cause specifically to incite reactions and get other people on board and then there's like a gang effect that sometimes happens in the comments and people there are people who think that poor Sophie she's so chubby and she's the least loved person in her family all wrong completely wrong all wrong and everyone loves everyone yeah like that's not what it's like in our family and when people push their feelings onto us and say that there's a problem with what's happening in our life without being here and knowing what really happens. Yeah, those are those are not constructive criticism. Those are not kind comments. And yeah, I do. I sometimes, there was one time when I was in the hospital that somebody said something that was horrible and I lashed out badly. And then after for weeks, I felt bad. I tried to find that comment again so that I could go back and explain to the girl, like, this is how I was feeling. I was on drugs. Please forgive me. Um, I could never find it. And it bothers me still that that comment is out there. Just yesterday, I commented to this woman that continually puts horrible, mean comments on her channel, very negative comments on her channel. And I was so furious that I typed out this big, huge, long, angry response and then I deleted her comment and mine because I don't want to be that way and it is so hard you guys to have so many people tell you who you are and we are not who you say we are we are who we are and you guys can't know who we are unless you're here living life with us so we are the day by day unless you're Kaylee yeah, we are and yeah so, unless you're Kaylee so it's hard it is hard right Editing is not too bad. I, I don't mind the editing. It takes us about three or four hours each night, Sam and I. And um, I think that's... It takes Dad three hours. It takes Mom four. Yeah, like, I, I think it's a small price to pay, and I enjoy it a lot um, for all the memories and amazing friendships that we are making. So, Leah Browning says, I assume that Gabby is favored over Sophie because she's more confident, even though Sophie is amazing and would go so far with the right horse. I hope this doesn't come across as mean because it's not. Yeah, like I can tell that that was not a mean comment. She's really genuinely curious. Do I favor Gabby? Like I don't. I favor Nick. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You said if Nick was a girl, his name is going to be Emma. Yeah, no. I don't favor any of my kids. Now, let me tell you this. I love... Dad. I love all of my kids differently. I love them for different reasons. I have a different kind of love for every single one of my kids. And I know people say they love their kids equally. I love my kids all differently. And Sophie is kind and sweet and caring and she cares about what people think um, in, a, in a good way. Like she doesn't want anybody to be hurt ever and she will take things into her heart. Except for me. And like when mom fell off, she was screaming and I was crying. Yeah. And I was laughing. Doctors. Yeah. And Gabby was like, <laughs> Literally, when I fell off that horse, um, and our coach was like, okay, take your horses out, get them untapped, and Gabby was like, uh, I didn't even ride yet, like, what are you talking about, I haven't had my lesson, like, did you I had an ear bonnet on him. Yeah, she's like, like, I put an ear bonnet on him, did you think I was going to go off to the hospital and you were going to stay and have your lesson? Yeah, because that's <laughs> a better thing to do. Yeah, it would have been better, but I needed you with me. Um, oh, and... You, I was like half ride, the time you were there, you were there for extra. I was gonna ride Stella that day, but I'm glad I didn't. Yeah, but anyway, here's the thing, and not that it was Stella's fault, but sh yeah, she does. Do you think it was Stella's fault? Stella's yeah. not a bad horse. We are. I'm a bad rider. I do not know how to ride. Stella's a little bit more advanced than us. She is not a beginner safe horse because she is so responsive. I don't know how to say that any other way. But back to the to the assumption. Definitely not a beginner safe I, horse. Sit up, please. I would never love one of my kids better because they do one thing better. Like, we are all different people in this world, and, and I love that. I love that we're okay, all we're different. Done. Haley Bates. I assume that Gabby may try to take over when the horses come to your farm, possibly causing Sophie to be jealous. So, Sophie, do you... No, I will not be jealous. I'll be glad. <laughs> She'll so yeah, be like, like, okay, you can take over. Yeah, like... Muck my horses. If she wants to muck all the stalls, like, I, I assume that that is going to happen. I want to be alone there with Ruby. Yeah, if she, yeah, like, yeah, if no. Gabby wants to spend six hours down at the barn with her dog and her horse doing whatever she wants to do down there, 
Sophie and I are like, okay, but actually I'll probably be with Sophie. With Gabby. I'll just be down there. You're I'll with Sophie though. I'll More feed my you. horse. Gabby can muck stalls. My horse would be bucking if I free lunch him or make him mad. Oh, I will free lunch Stella every single day. I'm no, so too hard on her. So Kayla Turner, yeah, lunging Stella is a hard thing. A lot of you guys want us to lunch. lunch. Oh, free lunch, yeah. Okay, so over and jump. Kayla Turner, I've always assumed that Sophie gets jealous of Gabby's riding. Do you think Gabby rides way better than you? And do you even does it even enter your mind to be jealous of Gabby's riding? No, no me neither. I'm not jealous of Gabby at all. And just Gabby overall. No, not at all. You guys, we are we raise our kids as a family unit. We all love each other and support each other. I don't know how many times you guys have seen in the videos where Gabby has offered to walk with Sophie while she's scared or well, um, Gabby's helped Sophie in the field and Gabby does not bat an eye to go help Sophie. And Sophie sometimes gives things over to Gabby that are important to her. We work as a family team. Um, she also says, um, I love your family, animals, and I'm glad you make daily vlogs. I don't know what I'd do without them. I look forward to seeing your vlogs every day and seeing where you're all going to go next in your journey. I wish I could meet all of you, but I can't. And I wish we, I wish we could meet you too. Yes. And thank you for that. Okay, one more. Madison Oswald again said, I assume Laura's going to ride soon. You bet your buttons because this girl is healing up. And as soon as I can, I, I like as soon as I can ride again, I will be riding again. Maybe we should And get, she also um, thinks that we're rich. Another beginner safe horse before that? Um. She can't even he watch Stella canter. Mom. Do this one. Just wait. Banana no. Bale says, I assume that Laura really wants to ride now, but is trying not to show. By the way, is there any grass at your new barn? Actually, I really do want to ride, but I am not ready to ride. I might look like I'm healing really fast. Every single bone that I've broken is still broken. I, I can feel every single one of them, but I'm getting better. I, I'm not ready to ride. And I won't ride until I'm physically ready. But I'm excited. Okay. Uh, wait, is there new? Is there any grass at any barn? There's grass. There's hay. There's everything. So yeah, this but the grass in the um. But the but the grass in our horses um field has right. no like nutritional value, so it won't make them fat. The grass we have right now because it's winter. Samantha no Noab, I don't know how to say it. I assume that Stella is a spy for Mars, trying to see how tough humans are and why we are here so she will stay here and try to get fat and see if you guys will cave in and give her food. <gasps> yeah, we are soft. That's so sure. Stella. Stella loves to be brought in, groomed, and walked around that arena with Sophie. She likes to stand in the middle and watch everything that's going on. She likes to be busy and she likes to be <laughs> in with the group. And... Um, not like Storm. Storm but would I, not be standing. Yeah, around. like Sam would be bored. Like if you just like when my horse had no shoes and I could not like I could ride him but only a walk at our old barn, he I would just stand in the middle and he and walk around and he would want to trot and canter. She always looks at us like she's trying to figure us all out. So that might be a true assumption. Shay Hoff assumes the storm is secretly in love with Stella, but doesn't act like it because he knows his best buddy Tex and Stella have a thing for each other. No, Storm loves chestnuts. Yeah, so the or thing- Or black horses. The thing- Wait, put a, your, a fly thing, fly mask thing on, on Stella. Storm, storm loves was her. in love. And when we took it off, Storm hated her. So the thing with Storm is that if he's with a, a less aggressive horse, a less strong, a less dominant horse, he becomes really dominant and thinks he's the king. And Stella is not a dominant horse. She is definitely not a confident horse yet. She bites. Tries yeah, to bite. she will fight him back, but he kind of just overtakes her because of her personalities. But look at this one. Keep calm. Because my horse and is just like me. Keep calm and I can't read it. Uh oh. Keep calm and stay country. Says I assume that Sophie gets jealous that Gabby can ride Stella without falling. No. Does it make you feel sad that Gabby rides your horse? No. How do you feel about when Gabby rides your horse? Kind of excited because Stella is no. like wanting to go and like get all energetic, and Stella has like a lot of energy, and with Gabby she can just throw get all the energy out and with me I pulls her back a lot so so do you want your sister to ride a horse or would you rather you just she just left eat left her for you to walk around want my sister to ride my horse do you want Kaylee to ride your horse yeah do you like yeah. Zoe to ride your horse 
yeah. Sophie and I are the same. We can see the benefit. I'll let anyone ride your horse. Yeah, and Gabby, on the other hand, is like, stay away from my horse. Stay away from my horse. As my long horse as they don't me. hold her back a lot like me and Mom. Autumn Hope says, I assume that you have the horses at the new barn this coming week. Man, if we could, we would. But it's looking like March. But we need... Like, yeah, I... We need more... We need to fix our barn. We need to get stuff done. We need to we buy need stuff. Pasture. And we are not rich, so it takes us a while to buy the stuff we need. Um, yeah, I, I want to bring stuff home March 1st. That's my goal. I just said it right now. I, I've been thinking about it today, and March 1st is when yeah, I want to bring home. Yeah, Storm will go March 1st. Um, That's like the first show. Three Barrels, One Dream says, I assume you stay at home. you are a stay-at-home mom, and I am a work-at-home mom. Our work for YouTube is a big, huge job it takes me hours every single day but yeah i do stay home um our cat is really effective. abby loves horses says i assume you have little tolerance for people who have a really strong opinion that's all i'm saying i promise that's not hating i don't know exactly what you mean by that comment but yeah i the only time I ever feel frustrated in person or in comments is when people have a very strong opinion. And it's because I... Ruby, you're going to knock the camera. Ruby. She wants um, to play with the cat. It's because I believe that everybody should live life their own way. Find your dream and make it come true. And that we should a allow... Fat. And we should allow everybody to live life their own way. And having strong opinions about how other people do things, unless they're, like, obviously abusing um, animals or people, then I think that we should all uh, love and support one another. You were on emergency call, and I'm like, oh. Okay, anyway, that is it. What do you guys think? Do Our cat is enough? fat when she lays down. You guys need to look at her. I, <laughs> I hope that, let's show her. Oh. This is our fat cat, you guys. And this is our dog. She's day. even fatter when she's here. Come here, Ruby. Come here. She's very affectionate. Get up. Get up. Get up. This is Whoa. our dog. And they are best friends. The cat doesn't love the dog as much as the dog loves the cat. The dog is oh, nice. Ruby, look. Okay, Ruby, down. Go. Yeah. Go. That is it for this video. It might end up being a two part series because. Um, there were so many questions, so many assumptions, and I appreciate you guys leaving them. And 200 and something, which we cannot do and would never do. Yeah, and um, I hope that... Uh, if your thing wasn't in here... Stay true to you, live life your own way. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.